So much to catch up on, guys, in just the last few weeks. Come on now. What's up, guys? Good evening, and welcome back to the channel. It's been a while since our last upload. I'm here bundled up because we are in the state of Indiana coming a week off of a fresh snowstorm. Super cold, but I'm in the garage grinding to try and get one out. We got a lot of orders in here, a lot of stuff to cover, a lot of things that I'm excited about. We'll go over the Corvette briefly. We got the race car to cover from the last upload. Thank you guys for joining me. Let's go ahead and dive right in. First off, take a look at the snow we've gotten out here, guys. Now the driveway doesn't exactly do it justice. I mean, I shoveled all this by hand. Look at this, halfway up, halfway up the side of the car. Look at these piles, super high. All right, we're talking a good eight to 10 natural inches. Not to mention snow drifts and what else, you know, in other certain areas. Super heavy snowstorm last week. Below freezing temperatures have kept them around for the full week. But what we are here to cover is the Corvette sitting here in hibernation mode, beautifully with the hood up, and the late model race car. Boxes galore with stuff we need to get caught up on. So beginning with the Corvette, in the last upload, we discussed selling this car. And of course, for good reason, because I explained that I've had my first child and I'm not able to utilize this car properly. However, it makes me sick to my stomach, makes my wife sick to her stomach to think about selling this car because we love it so much. So we're gonna do everything we can to keep it. She's currently in hibernation mode. She's got the battery tender on her, sitting in the garage, as beautiful as ever. Obviously with the weather I just showed you guys, and if you live in the Midwest, then you completely understand. We do not drive our vehicles here if we care about them because the roads will paint your car white with salt. So she sits here under the cover, nice, neat, warm, and she awaits a beautiful early spring. And I guess I could say the same for the race car because she's not going out anytime soon either. Now, as you guys can see here, as I said before, the old reliable LS2 with the battery tender on her, maintaining the battery, Gonna keep her nice, safe, and sound, and protected. We'll put the cover back over her so she comes out a beautiful butterfly in the spring as she always does. But for now, she will sit here for the rest of the winter. That's not exactly what this quick upload and this quick update is about. It is about the late model race car. The Richard Childress official race car. All right, frame, welded, everything. If you don't believe it, give me one second. Right there, guys. No lie, foolproof, Childress race cars welded to the frame in the cockpit with a VIN number or a model number, Childress Race Car official, no joke, all right? Again, not a big fan of NASCAR, but he's a huge name in the stock car racing community. This car is legit, ready to go, and I am a huge fan of motorsports racing. This is one I can afford to get into. If you guys can jump into the GT series with Lambos and Audis, give me all the shit you want but this is the high dollar item at your local short track, so that's what I'm jumping in on. Okay, so first up, we have to cover all the stuff that I bought recently, all right? We've been over the Corvette, we know she's sitting, there's not a lot to do. You guys have saw, you've saw the weather, all right? I showed you, proof of the snow, can't do much. But first off, take a look around the garage. Take a look around, guys. I know you probably haven't paid much attention to the background before, but it looks absolutely different from every other video we've ever filmed in the garage. Now that's because within the time period between the last upload and now we've actually moved. So I've been through quite a bit with all the orders. I've been trying to collect a lot of different stuff to make a good upload. Again, not a lot of content going on because of the weather. It's super cold. We don't drive the Corvette. The race car is being built. We're getting a lot of parts in a lot slower than we anticipated due to the coronavirus. Everybody's waiting on something. There's always an excuse. I get it. But between all of that stuff and the move, we've actually got a new house a bigger garage by a couple square feet with the kick out. The only thing that sucks is with the kick out over here. If you'll notice, I actually have a lot of my shed storage equipment, like my landscape equipment or my outbuilding. I don't know what you guys call it from where you're from, but we call it a shed up here. I actually had to move with this kick out. If I take a step back, you can see the kick out on the building. That, that actually helps a lot in the garage, all right? But I have to utilize this space for all my exterior storage stuff because I don't have that building anymore. So I really need to get on that because it's taking up a lot of our extra garage space, which would have been a huge help in the last house. But actually, we got it here and it just pretty much covers what we're lacking. But that's not that big of a deal, okay? That's not what we're here to talk about. All right, that's just a quick update. We're here to talk about the thousands of dollars in 
orders that we have sitting here on the late model race car that I got to bring you guys up to speed on, stuff we've been waiting on, the whole upload, the building of the race team from the ground up. All right, let's dive right into it. Starting off with our Zamp racing helmet, complete with the air inlet on top because we do have an air intake system for the driver built in to make sure that we get plenty of airflow throughout a race. Could be long, could be a very hot night. Want to make sure that we've got the appropriate amount of airflow. Comes uh, complete with the um, storage bag that goes over the top of the helmet for protection. Beautiful helmet. Obviously, it meets all safety specifications. Awesome helmet. Great price. We'll dive into that here shortly. Got my Zamp balaclava, also my, or also my head sock, uh, just something that goes on before I get into the helmet. Very comfortable, easy to use, goes right on. Nothing much, nothing much to be said about that. Here is our Zamp one-piece, three-layer fire retardant suit. Looks fantastic, fits great, complete with a couple embroideries of the uh, Zamp logo, even down here on the legs. Looks awesome, fits great, very comfortable. Went ahead and completed completed the Zamp helmet, the Zamp fire retardant suit with the Zamp racing shoes. Got a little flashy with the red because I like red. But yeah, the Zamp racing shoes also very good looking, very comfortable, and uh, definitely looking forward to putting these things on in the car. Now with the gloves, I actually went with G-Force because I didn't like the Zamp gloves. All right, now here's the deal. With gloves, the pricing is what really factors into it. All the gloves are price fairly the same g-force i thought uh had the best look the zamp gloves were actually externally stitched which looked kind of weird to me and i didn't really i didn't really like that so i went ahead with the g-force they look good they match just fine so i think that's going to complete the whole outfit pretty well definitely like the g-force gloves very comfortable and again the externally stitched only reason i didn't go with the zamp don't know what they feel like can't say they didn't feel right or anything like that just didn't like the look of them and then here is, we don't have a Hans device just yet, something that we were looking forward to getting in the future, but this is just a quick and easy neck brace, something to go up underneath the helmet to help with stability of the neck in case of uh, some kind of hard collision. Something good to have. Definitely want to look forward to getting a Hans device in the future, but for now, that's what we got. That's what we're going to utilize. Maybe in the future, again, we'll go over a Hans device. This is all the stuff we've gotten immediately. Now, as you guys heard several times going over the safety equipment here, there's a, there's a wider range of safety equipment here, but we chose the Zant brand several times with the helmet, the balaclava, the one-piece racing suit, the shoes for two reasons. Those two reasons being their absolute performance and commitment to quality along with their pricing, all right? The racing game is definitely not a cheap game to get involved with, and the Zant brand is definitely not a brand that skimps on quality, all right? Again, their helmet meets all the safety specifications, the suit, the shoes, all of them. They all have to meet certain specifications. These guys definitely go above and beyond meeting and exceeding those specifications. All right, guys, we have the three-layer fire retardant suit. Not ultra stylish. Of course, we don't have all of our sponsors stitched on, but do like the nice accent pieces there with the brand logo. The shoes meet the same specifications. The balaclava, the helmet, gloss black, looks super sweet with the air induction on top here. Again, couldn't ask for more, and they give you the, the helmet protection as well with the uh, actual helmet cover. So as, as far as the safety goes, guys, and quality, the Zant brand absolutely would recommend. I would tell you guys to definitely check them out. Uh, if you're a racer, an enthusiast, someone who thinks they need a, a racing suit or a helmet, definitely check them out. Performance, quality, the pricing, Excellent. All right, guys, so we've covered the safety equipment. Very happy with it. Definitely recommend it. But let's get into the stuff that I'm really excited about, the super expensive stuff, the stuff I've been dying to share with you guys. Just got it today. Been waiting a month on it. We're going to shoot through it real fast. I'm going to get super heavy on it. Maybe not too heavy, but let's go over it. Boom, starting off with the easy stuff. Flywheel, miscellaneous, harmonic balancer, connecting rods. And here we go, here we go, here we go. The super beautiful... 4340 scat crank. We're talking forged steel. Not cheap at all. She's scat race balanced. Fully forged, guys. Take a look at that. Only someone who understands can fully appreciate it. This is the this is the ultimate soldier, the oil slumper. She's gonna be slapping it hard. And check that out. It comes with a warning. Misuse of this product could result in ultimate horsepower and speed. And that's what we're gonna do with this puppy, baby. 
super excited about this thing. She was, uh, I guess, I don't know, like six, six, seven hundred dollars, something like that. This is what was holding us up. I don't know what it was about scat, but we were waiting on this crank from them. That's what that held up the whole package. Next up, second most excited about fully forged aluminum flat top racing pistons by who else? But Weisco. Hide that, Mr. Whiskey Slick from Fort Wayne, of course, you already know. Don't even wanna to touch them. It feels like a sin that's so super clean. These things are so beautiful. Again, fully forged Weisco Racing Pistons. Now this package, all this was a package, all of it came together, connecting rods, all those accessories, the crank and the pistons all came together. They came with rings, but we're actually, we're experimenting again. This is a small block Chevy 400 that we're building up. All right, standard bore, 4.125. We are actually experimenting with total seal rings. Now, uh, total seal rings, uh, I, I think I've, I've read, typically go with guys that are trying to run a lot of boost or like nitrous oxide, but they can increase horsepower and torque and, and just your standard engine. So we're gonna try and run some total seal rings. We got, the, we got rings with this package, but fuck them. We're gonna try and run our own total seal rings that we're gonna order separate from the package. And I think it's gonna work out pretty well. So yeah, guys, besides a few other things we might have to order like nuts, bolts, you know, different things like washers and gaskets, which we actually do have a major gasket package that we've ordered as well. But besides that stuff, this, this is it. This is the big order stuff right here, the real expensive stuff. I guess the next thing for me to do is to go and show you guys our actual engine block to pull up the intake that we've got. We had a set of heads on hand. They're double hump heads that we are actually uh, gonna go ahead with a head improvement kit kind of feel it out as we get better through the season we might upgrade to some better heads some aluminum heads uh, maybe a different intake but we have those on hand now we also have multiple carburetor options that we had on hand as well we have multiple camshaft options we've got a lanati cam and a comp cam that we will end up running we'll just kind of set the engine up and see what we like the best so we're going to build the the internals, you know, the rotating assembly, we got all that stuff pretty high quality. And then we're gonna use what we had on hand, feel it out, maybe build it up a little better at a time. But for right now, guys, this is everything. And you know what? Uh, we have a couple more orders to place uh, regarding like wheels. Right now we have a 15 by 10 and we have to run 15 by eights in the class that we're gonna be in. So I gotta put in an order for a new set, including spares as far as the wheels go, obviously get the tires that coincide. Uh, so when we get the new tires and all that stuff, we'll get a couple sets, all that'll come in, but that's later stuff. Another thing we have to get is a trailer. Um, and I'll probably include you guys when I go to pick that up as well. Can't wait to show you guys the rest of it, but for the bulk of it, this is it. Super excited. I mean, we're talking a lot of money across the pistons, the crank, the accessory, rods, balancer, flywheel. Haven't opened it yet, don't know and the safety equipment, guys. I hope you are super excited because I definitely am. And actually another thing that I was excited to talk to you guys about is the paint scheme and how we are gonna lay the car out. I, this is the, the previous owner, he had this, and I, I don't know if you guys remember the lime green number nine. We have stripped all stickers off of this car. A Couple more we still need to get to, but for the most part, this is ready to go. We're actually just gonna black it out. I wanna do an all gloss black, just carry the gloss black from back here over. Paint a fender up up there, and I think I'm gonna do a red number with a white outline. Haven't yet decided on the number. If you guys wanna leave some comments down below, let me know what numbers you guys think are, you know, good to be on the side of the car, whatever, suit me, but that'd be helpful as well. But yeah, that's the paint scheme, and that's what we're gonna probably end up doing. I'll, I'll When I drop the car off for paint, I'll probably include you guys in that. I'll definitely take some video if I can. And of course, we still haven't done a full dive into the car, but I have shown you guys quite a bit of what's going on. This was just a quick update video on how we're building up the race team, building up the engine, all the money we've spent, all the packages we've been waiting on throughout the holidays. All right, the, the, the move, moving our cars around. Just wanted to give you guys a quick update. Stay tuned. I think it's going to get a lot more interesting. I think you guys are going to enjoy the content coming your way because we are building a hell of a lot here. Not just this race car, but the future of this channel. So definitely get involved. Stay tuned. And as always, thanks for tuning in, guys. Please like and subscribe. I will see you in the next one.
And in case anyone was wondering, we still do have the Tri-Wheel Cruiser. Uh, thinking about doing a major giveaway here soon. If anyone's interested, gonna be dropping a lot of merch if you wanna get in on winning the Tri-Wheel Cruiser. She's been parked for the winter, ultra low mileage, uh, original tires, still good tread if you guys are interested. This thing, super, I mean, we're talking almost brand new. So if you guys are excited and interested in winning that, look forward to some merch coming soon because that bad boy is gonna be up for grabs.